getting stuck on something. Seems like I'll have to avoid those obstacles while I turn it. This is where the water starts. Okay. Master Child probably dived into the water. Vegetation here is a bit more sparse. These traces aren't natural. A person must have left them, and recently. I should be going in the right direction. Oh, there are traces here too. I need to keep going. Huh? The traces are gone. But I don't see where he could have gone from here. Wait, what the... My heart is racing, and it's getting harder and harder to breathe. No good. I 
They have to get back. They still don't know anything about what's going on. If I turn back right now, I should still be able to make it. In other words, the trail you were following vanished, and you had no idea where Mas- mm hmm That's right. I tried my best to swim back, but I had already put some distance between myself and the fortress. Miss Clarand brought you back, but we also don't know why she just suddenly appeared at the fortress. Miss Clarand, you say? I must go thank her in person. You're still too weak for Manet. You can go after you've had some more rest. Miss Lynette is right. I believe Miss Cloran will stay here as a guest for another- A guest? Then I can assume Risley was the one who invited her to come down here? You should ask His Grace about that. He'll be able to explain- Yeah, it's about time he actually told us what's going on. Wanna come with us? Uh, no, please go on without me. Lenny. The logical part of my brain is aware that we're safe right now, but I still can't bring myself to leave. Both- <clears throat> Understood. Then... In that case, I'll leave the infirmary to you. The Traveler and I are going to head out- Thank you. I... I'm so sorry, Lenny. I'm also really sorry, Lenny. I should have been more careful. Don't say that. It was all my fault. I was the one who should have been more careful. If I was stronger, maybe I would have already found Master Child. No, how can you say that? Huh? I'm sorry. Hmm. What I'm hearing is, we all dropped the ball. Yeah, that's right. It's on all of us. <sighs> Lenny, we understand that you're worried about us, but we're worried about you as well. Yeah. I take it Mr. Fremenet's condition has stabilized? Of course! I wouldn't have left the infirmary otherwise. I've been expecting those two, but might I inquire as to the purpose of your- I wanted to check up on Miss Cloran. How are you- Mostly fine. I th if you don't mind, I'd like to perform another quick physical exam. All right. Thank you for looking out for me. Well, want to explain yourself, right? <laughs> of course. But I'm not partial to the word cho- mm, But where should I begin? How about you start by asking me any questions you have? Hmm. Then Paimon will begin. Did you know about Lenny's goals? Hmm, no. I just knew they were Fatui operatives sent to the fortress by the Knave. As for their specific goals, I only figured those out. You managed to monitor and stay ahead of them even- They came here with ulterior motives. 
I'm quite adept at dis- Initially, I thought their goal was just to investigate Child's disappearance. Linny suggested that I had deliberately let him escape. But in truth, I didn't really do anything special to help or hinder him while he was here. Of course, it's inevitable that the Knave would make a big deal out of her fellow Harbingers. I'm also quite curious about where that Harbinger went. So I figured I might as well let the Fatui do their own investigative work. All I care about is the answer. So you were hoping Linny's group would just do- You make it sound like that's a bad thing. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. I assume that Fremene has told you already, the ratio of primordial seawater around the fortress of Meripi- The Forbidden Zone has always been Linny's target, and you got roped into that investigation after running into him. I began to intervene out of concern for your safety, and also- Are the rumors true? That you're also a former- Why would you put it like that? Isn't staying here all day and serving as the manager of the fortress a kind of sentence unto itself? Another- f Oh, right! Paima wanted to ask- Me, of course. I paid her good mora to come down to the fortress for some field work. As a champion duelist, Miss Cloran could be considered to be an independent party. I needed to find an exceptionally capable person to help me get through the appending crisis. And saving Fremenay was part of that- You can think of it like that, yes. Credit where credit is due, that boy is quite adept at diving. Had conditions not been as hostile as they were, he probably would have found the missing Harbinger. That's not something you should be asking after. Nevelet only asked you to investigate. All I need to prove to you is that the Forbidden Zone had nothing to do with the Harbinger's disappearance. But we've already uncovered that there's something wrong with the infirmary, and we've answered a bunch of questions. You make a compelling case. Do you- Yeah! Even if the truth may not be pleasant, follow me. Seems you've forgotten just what kind of place the... <laughs> Stand on the central plate. Wait, is there a secret mechanism or... Whoa! Three such isolation gates in total. Generally speaking, I'm the only one. Am I correct to assume you're going to run on back and tell your little fat? Well, I. <laughs> well, I'd advise you wait until you've seen. Stand back. Whoa! They all just went up one by one! Go on, have a look. I've been interested in what lies beyond that gate ever since I assumed leadership of the Fortress of Meripede. Of course, it would be unwise to recklessly open it, but it'd also be risky and negligent to simply- The readings on that dashboard have not budged since the day when I first laid eyes on this place. But over the past year, the needle has crept upwards from its original position. Normally, I would have ignored it, but I happen to have some free time when I noticed it, so I investigated. Any guesses what the reading could be tracking? Very reasonable guesses. I've considered the temperature should vary with weather and climate changes, so for something that rarely shifts, 
the water pressure is more likely. We later on, a few more possibilities occurred to me, such as a potential connection with the prime. Over the past few days, the needle has moved again. With that and the symptoms that Fremenet displayed after leaving the fortress, the concentration of primordial seawater. And that is precisely the problem. We're at the bottom of the sea, and now we're surrounded by toxic seawater. Somehow, primordial seawater got mixed in, and the constant... Yes, that's very likely. But forget about the two of us. Not even Novalet knows where the primordial sea could be. Much... Oh. Seems like you've figured it out. I believe the primordial sea lies directly beneath this sluice gate. For some reason, the primordial seawater levels have risen significantly, and it's now very close to us. The indicators are now red. Although the gate still stands, some primordial seawater has already leaked out and mixed into the sea around us. If this continues, soon it will no longer be able to hold back the primordial sea at all. Yeah, you know what the legends say. If this place falls, then everyone in Fontaine will be turned into puddles in the span of a night. But that's just too weird! Why would the Fortress of Meripede be built right above a sluice gate for the Primordial Sea? Your expression tells me you think this might be part of a vast, complicated conspiracy. It's just that the secret of the Forbidden Zone had been long forgotten by the nation before I rediscovered it with my research. There's no single founder of the Fortress of Meripede in any traditional sense. What we when the previous Hydro Archon, Egeria, ruled the land, all convicted criminals from Fontaine were exiled. The people drove the criminals away like a wolf pack chasing away the banished. The criminals received no sympathy of any kind from the people. They were exiled to the desolate seaside, where they ex some of them began to repent and prayed to the Hydro Archon, asking if there was still anything they could do. The Hydro Archon took pity on them, and so... Leaning on the power of the Hydro Archon, they gathered underneath the sea and began to build a fortress. They became a community down there in the deeps. As the number of exiles increased, more and more people joined the community. When the first group of exiles died, they left the yet unfinished fortress to their successors. The Hydro Archon continued to lend her support, allowing the fortress and what it stood for to continue growing ever larger. Before long, this dark underwater fortress, and with that, the people here stopped referring to the fortress as a prison. They saw themselves as repenting sinners, who would regain their freedom once they had sufficiently redeemed themselves. But as time went on, people also realized that the fortress was a lonely place. Once they had gotten used to life here, they could- once they had finished serving their sentences, some people left and some others chose to stay. They'd find some idle position and let their withered souls fade away with the ancient sea after many, many centuries. Few people still remember the reason for the fortress's founding. Now they just see it as an integral pillar of fun. Now and again, researchers manage to break one law or another and live out their days in the fortress. I learned all this from an elderly historian. Everyone else just thought he'd made it all up. But now you know every part of that- Indeed. It's just as the prophecy says. If this gate, to be frank, not really. But sadly, that hasn't stopped. Prophecies are troublesome things. Just hearing one will create the first wave of panic. Seeing signs of it will bring about the second, and actually witnessing it in real time, the third. Let's go somewhere else. I want to show you something. This is it. Your Grace, perfect timing. The results from our last round. Wait, Jurier, he's not alone! Huh? Lorveen and Jurier? No need to panic, you two. I've already told them about our plan. What? After you warned us not- I'm skeptical as well. Are you sure they are trustworthy? The results speak for themselves, don't they? These two may already know more than you could ever imagine. All right, then, if your grace insists. They seem harmless enough, so I'll trust them for now. Well, how about some reintroductions? This is Jurier, one of the highest-ranked researchers from the Fontaine Research Institute. He used to work under Edwin. I trust that you've heard of Edwin? Good. Saves me a bit of... Edwin's main areas of research were archaeum and gravimeters. 
As his assistant, Jurier is quite familiar with them as well. You... you want to blow up the f Ah, what a lovely idea. I'm all... Gotta admit, I'm tempted... Guys, focus! Focus! <laughs> that taskmaster over there is Miss Lorvine, and is also one of my technical consultants. Ooh, are they together? See, everyone keeps asking this question. Are you too sh- I... Your Grace! If I dated her, I'd officially be ma- Jeez, uh, forget I said anything then. Follow me. Whoa, there's another door that goes right up. Your constant amazement makes it seem like the fortress can do anything. But Paimon really thinks everything's super cool. Well, let's spice it up a bit. And here you go. What a huge... This is also a production zone that Paimon's never seen... How much do you know about Fontanian history? Uh, not much at all. Well, then maybe you haven't heard the story of ancient Lemuria. To give you a quick rundown, Fontaine used to be ruled by the... According to legend, the Lemurian king Remus came to this land after being inspired by divine revelation and found the seer Sibylla, who had taken on the form of a golden bee. Taking the golden bee with him and riding on a huge ship, the Fortuna, he created his nation above the surging waves. He called his nation Lemuria and used the Fortuna to incessantly search for new tribes and islands, calling on them to join his empire. There's a ship in this story, too? Where there's water, there'll be ships. People believe that hope can always be found at the end of a voyage. Do you believe that, too? To a point, I think. As you've already seen, I have a whole factory's worth of labor, materials, and technology at my disposal. So the moment I began to speculate that the primordial sea might lie underneath the gate, I also began... Were you inspired by the legendary Fortuna? Mm, maybe. Fontanians need something to hold on to to cope with the impending disaster. Were the workers to find out the truth behind this ship, riots would destroy the fortress faster than any catastrophe. As the fortress's administrator, I'd never make such a reckless call. All right, that's enough talking for now. I'll need another three cups of tea to soothe my throat. Seems like you're good. Come on. I'll leave you here for now. Oh, I... Uh... No worries. But don't forget, it's up to you whether or not you want to share what you just saw. What you do from here on out will like... Yeah, we'll put a lot of thought into it for... Great. I look forward to what happens next.
Just can't rely on them. Kids these days, you just can't rely. these days you just can't rely these days you just can't rely on them Just can't rely. Just can't rely on them. <sighs> <sighs> these days you just can't rely
kids these days. You just can't rely on them. Just can't rely. Kids these days, you just can't rely.
welcome back. Do you want a cup of tea? How can you be so much like Risley, always drinking tea? Huh. Actually, now that you mention it, I just remembered something now. While I was sedated, I could still barely hear two people talking next to me. They were discussing everything, from the leaves... Must have been Risley and Sishween. Yeah, I heard one male voice and one female, so... I really can't make sense of this place. So, Traveler, Paimon, were you able to learn anything? Yeah, he explained everything! Very well. Then, would you mind checking your answers against my speculations? Yeah, I took the time to rest, so I'm feeling a lot... Nobody else is around, and Miss Sijuin is also busy with something or other. All right, then I'll posit my theories. I asked myself three questions. Firstly, why was Fremenet affected by the primordial seawater? It was because he dove into the sea. My theory is, the long-lost primordial sea is pro- Whoa! He's good! That's our Lenny. Secondly, Risley's attitude changed dramatically during the course of our stay here. He ignored us completely at first. I spent quite a long time thinking about this. If he has been monitoring the Fatui since the very beginning, he probably ignored us at first because he was hoping we could find Master Child Fort. What's more, the Fortress of Meripede is not part of Fontaine's court system, nor does it report to Udex Nervilet. Risley is basically the king of a no man's land. As long as the fortress doesn't do anything about Master Child's disappearance, Father can use it to pressure the Fontaine authorities. And while the two factions are pitted against each other, Risley will be free to move between the parties of interest. If I had to guess, he probably has something that he's working on himself. It's likely related to the secret of the infirmary, but... You're super smart! <laughs> Thanks so much. Then finally, there's the last question. If Risley does have a plan, what could it be? All I know for now is that his plan probably has something to do with the changing nature of the seawater. Ah, uh, that can't be the full extent of what he's doing. There's probably a secret passageway behind the block in the infirmary, and there's something big in the fortress that most people here never get to see. I don't have enough information, so I have no idea what his chip might be. But... <sighs> I can't believe it. The sea will engulf everyone. Could Risley have wanted to meet Father to figure out a way to deal with this crisis? If you remember, I once mentioned that Father sees the House of the Hearth as her base of operations, and she truly wants to resolve the crisis. But how could Risley have known that? Or perhaps he didn't know, and just wanted to bring Father over to his side? Yeah, that makes sense to me. I understand your concerns as well, Traveler. I'll figure out a way the two of you have already aided us far too much. We probably wouldn't be standing here right now if not for you. If you ever need anything else going forward, please come to the House of the Hearth at any time. Though you may not share the sentiment, after all that we've gone through together, the three of us basically see you as family. You have my gratitude. Thank you for protecting Linny when it really mattered. And thank you for sharing the secrets of the fortress with us. We didn't think you were going to do it. Uh, why are you being so formal all of a sudden? Uh, Paimon... Paimon's hungry.
Oh, uh... You've done so much already. Alright, then we'll catch you guys another time. <sighs> I've... You're incredibly helpful. Yeah. You two are always telling me not to push myself, but aren't you just like that at... Mr. Wolsey, it's all on me today, so you can get whatever you'd like. Me too! Don't forget Paimon! No problem. Just leave it to me. Ah, so delicious. Freeloaders? We ain't feeling full yet. How's the food? Delicious! Ah, I'm so glad to see you all so happy. Oh, see, the expression... Seedween? Do you do this to help your patients or to better understand? <sighs> better both, I suppose. I'm a melazine, which means I'm very different from human beings. I must know what you're thinking if I want to take good care of you. You're really good at taking care of people. Even though you're so short, you still talk and act... Really? You're reminded of an older sister? <laughs> oh, and what did you mean back in Risley's office? When you said that you were protecting... Li oh, that. I just asked his grace to look out for those children, especially that diver boy. I was getting a... Thankfully, Clarand is very strong and managed to save him in the nick of time. His grace also sealed the pipes after Clarand left, but to make sure that although the path was blocked, we still stationed some guards there to stop anyone from approaching. They were instructed to only open... Oh, and I was keeping an eye on Mr. Linney as well. We had to press him, but we couldn't allow him to be in any... You were all super considerate. <laughs> it's just what we do down here at the fortress. At least this has been his grace's style. Oh. I really wish Monsieur Nervula would come down here more often, too. I feel like he'd like... Get a good night's rest, you two. You both worked very hard. has happened. Paimon just feels... <sighs> Paimon's super sleepy. Are you sleepy, Chief? What happened? 
happened? Why is everyone running? No idea, but something must have happened. Stop asking! Uh huh? Who's yelling? Time to explain, mate. Goodbye. Uh, uh, hey, wait! What's wrong with these people? They won't even. They're here! Yeah. There you are! Oh, thank goodness! Quisto and Lavaroon, do you know what happened here? We came here especially to inform you. Something seems to have gone terribly wrong. Lavaroon was saying you two are new here and you don't have many friends, so you might slip through the cracks. Haven't you heard all the stories like that? Wait, weren't you the one who brought that up? Hey, shut up! Okay, whatever. The point is, you should come with us. Yeah, he said to get as far away as possible, up. Huh? Oh, no. It can't be that thing! Oh, wait. What? What? Hey! We have to go find the Duke! You two just go and get out! Go on without us! Hey, hey! Be careful! Attention! Please evacuate upwards and outwards! Upwards and outwards! If you're already at the topmost layer, then try to move as far outwards as possible! They're here. Just like I said. We have it! <sighs> You're just in time. But be ready to run. This won't hold it for long. Find Nuvillette. Tell him the defenses are about to collapse. Uh, then what will happen to you? Until he arrives, we're the last line of defense. <laughs> the gate. How long do you think it'll hold? That depends on us. <laughs> Traveler, I need you to head to the Opera House immediately. Farina will soon be meeting with the Knave there. You must protect Farina, and make sure she doesn't spend too much time alone with her. Will do. You have my sincere... people over 
over there. The knave is probably here up. Are you two the traveler in Paimon? Monsieur Nervalet, though I'm sure he's already explained, this should be a mostly cordial conversation, unlikely to give rise to violence. Oh, so you two are the honored guests Miss Farina mentioned. Of course, of course! How could they not attend a meeting such as this? I must always have two or more guests at my dessert table! It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance, Traveler. I have heard much of your accomplishments. I am the Knave. I've already prepared seats for you. Come, sit beside me. Perhaps you two are unaware of how Miss Farina and I do things. You see, we actually recently agreed to get together for tea when we have to see this. This is a limited type of confectionery that Miss Farina simply adores. There are only 16... Traveler, what do you think of this cake? That's good to hear. So what Child said was on the mark after all. You do share a taste in desserts with Fur. I wonder how he's doing nowadays. You must have heard, right? He's suddenly gone missing. Uh, since we're talking about him, I feel like I should add something. His martial prep. Oh. So, you're also familiar with his aptitude for fighting, Miss Farina. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Against ordinary people, my colleague would never be on the back foot. But alas, he just never imagined he'd run into such a person. Hmm. Coming from you, that's... Uh, but I thought you would be happier to hear the news. Of course, but it's still a bit of a shame. You see... I would have been far happier had I received this news somewhat... Uh, uh... Well, in any case, there's no need to worry! Oh. And just how do you know that? Because... Uh... Because we found evidence that proved he left... And where did he go after leaving the fortress? Well... The fortress of Meripede lies deep beneath the waves. Unless he pranced right out of the main gate, he must have had to swim for it. Ah, oh, that is good news at least. His sister Tonya sent a letter to Fontaine not too long ago. Since he was un- Do you have any idea how he usually writes back to his family? Dear Tonya, your letter made me feel like we were still enjoying our time in Snezhnaya together. I'm- Letters tend to follow the same few formats anyway, right? As long as the contents are accurate. <sighs> Hold on. The water... Hmm. I suppose this is also a sign of things to come. Huh? Uh, I don't quite understand what you're trying... Have we entered into the next stage of the prophecy? <sighs> My thanks to you both. I will take it from here. Huh? <laughs> sure you don't need a hand? Quite sure. Wow. So, what's your secret, huh? Uh, let me guess. Nah, who knows. Maybe it's just your sense of responsibility. <laughs> hmm. Sounds about right.
day may come when the prophecy is fulfilled and the waters burst forth. But it is not this day! This ancient power could easily obliterate an entire race. A tsunami of fury would unleash endless catastrophe. <laughs> Forgive me for overruling it. All right. Seems like the problem inside has been suppressed. Let me guess. We're safe for now. <laughs> Indeed. But I win this bet. <sighs> Very well. It wasn't- You made a bet? We made a bet on the size of your entourage. Cloran thought you wouldn't come- I figured you would have at least brought a few people along for appearance's sake. Shouldn't you have gotten used to confidential missions by now? That's just how the courts- So what gift must the loser give? Tea? Hmm. He already has tons of tea in his office. That wouldn't happen to be a dig at my lack of legal- Well. I'm sure his grace doesn't consider the fortress. I was under the impression the residents of a place like this. <sighs> that was obviously a joke. Uh, anyway, you've still got some on. No need to stay here if you have a pressing matter. We all know you can't leave Palais Mermonia for long. Thank you. I hope everything went smoothly with the. I must say, we've spent long enough, Miss Farina. As the Hydro Archon, I am sure you understand the exact meaning of the phenomenon we just witnessed. What are you trying to say? At this point, I don't think there's any more need to speak as diplomatic representatives. Allow me to speak to you now as just a Fontanian. Y yet, here you are, relaxing, drinking tea, and eating desserts as if it's all nothing more than a few stray bugs in your garden. The prophecies hanging above our necks like a guillotine. Every faction is looking for a way to either avert the disaster, or- But you? It beggars belief just how nonchalant and carefree you have been. You're wrong. I've never ignored the prophecy, nor have I just been passing the time in self-indulgence. I am not alone in my doubts, you know. All the children of Fontaine may be harboring the exact same- Oh, great Hydro Archon. How are you going to save them? Save us? I have my ways, and I've been working on them for all this time. Even if you look down, Fontaine will be saved. Even... Even if I still cannot see the true future right... Then I ask you, Miss Farina, just what have you been working on? Where can we see it and what is it doing? <sighs> My machinations are just like the prophecy itself. Mm, I see. As a god, the proof of your labor always lies beyond prying mortal. Allow me to be so bold as to ask another way. Would it be possible for you to tell us the parts of your plan that are not... Uh, an emergency response plan? Oh, that look in your eyes. The, the emergency response plan. Then allow me to jog your memory. Miss Farina, what is the purpose of your oratrice mechanique, and what do you plan to do with the massive amounts of indemnitium that- uh, The oratrice? It, it's just like it appears to- Hmm. So you also have no idea. If I'm not mistaken, someone's using it to prepare- I first caught wind of this when Linny tried to investigate the oratrice in the opera house. You see- even just getting close to the co- But even if that had nothing to do with you, then what could you possibly be work- Oh, right. 
I almost forgot. Udex Nouvellette is not at the tea party with us today. Ah, uh, yeah, yes, that's exactly right. Of course I will. Although, I must say, Miss Farina, you seem quite insecure. Oh, very well. Let's stop that conversation here. There are still a few slices of cake left. Traveler, I heard that you were recently commissioned to handle a few matters on behalf of the Udex. Why don't you take an extra slice? You too, Paimon. Uh, thank you. Paimon's super full. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If it's on my tea table, it must be of the highest quality. You're welcome. I'm sure the cake also felt greatly honored to be featured at Miss Farina's table. And I was merely catering to Miss Farina's tastes, seeking a chance to chat over... Mm, it is getting late. Why don't we call it a day? There are still a few matters that I need... Very well. We'll end it here. Mind seeing me off, traveler. We could use the opportunity to discuss child before I'm- Paimon's coming too! <sighs> the tea party- Huh? Uh, ahem! <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Is something the matter? I'm glad that you were willing to come with me. Of course, child was just an excuse. I have no- That's what Paimon thought! You lent your aid to the children of the House of the Hearth, as their father. I would like to express my gratitude. Do I look like an irresponsible father to you? <laughs> the House of the Hearth is very important to me. That was all. Formal topics should be discussed in formal settings, and informal topics in informal settings. I know you just returned from the fortress of Meripede. Relax. I have no intention of trying to get anything out of you. They've all been working very hard and have always done all they can to fight back against anyone who tried to stop them. You mean Rithesley. He's a tricky one to deal with. Hmm. <sighs> It's unfortunate that Lenny's so eager to prove himself that he can't learn to rely on others. By the way, and you can just consider this a bit of idle gossip, but what's your impression of Farina? You are outside of our disputes, and the freest person in all of Fontaine, able to move around most easily. And that's everything that happened during the trial. Master Child was declared guilty and immediately transported to the Fortress of Meropede. Didn't he say he was coming here on vacation? Does he not feel an ounce of shame for all the trouble he has caused? Uh, I... Forget it. He did give us an opportunity. I will be meeting someone shortly. Do you require help with any preparations? No need. I will take care of it myself. I need to meet with Farina, the Hydro Archon. She is at the heart of Fontaine. But what's fascinating about her is that she often seems more like a celebrity than a working Archon. Oh, come over here, you little critter, you! You dare to run from me? My goal is just to discover the location of the Gnosis. 
But I didn't expect the chance to approach Farina to be handed to me on a silver plat. Anything left unguarded is usually just bait. But no one will blame someone for taking the bait. <laughs> it's just as I guessed in the second before I struck. The Hydronosis is not currently held by the Ark. In fact, this Archon doesn't seem like a god at all. And I sense that she's under- Who are you? And, and what are you trying- The fear in her pupils is genuine. So perhaps she's not bait after all. Hmm. I left the scene with ease. Nobody came looking for me, and nobody could serve as a witness to my near assassination of Fosalor. I suspect even Farina dares not mention this incident to anyone. Not long after, my informants confirmed what I had guessed. After returning to her quarters, Farina quietly cried. There's no doubt that there's something wrong with her. I began to entertain the possibility that she is not the true Hydro Archon. Perhaps Eudex Nuvillette is actually the genuine article. I have to find the Gnosis. If the Nuvillette hypothesis is correct, he is probably in possession of it. Yes, father. My dear children. News from the fortress of Meripede. Master... Master Child has gone missing. On top of that, the contacts and guards we bribed at the- Probably the handiwork of that Ridesley. I'm afraid so. This is a good opportunity. The value of a Harbinger is much higher than most would imagine. We now have an excuse to exert diplomatic pressure on- Set up a meeting for me. I would like to meet the Hydro Archon and you- Oh, and I have an additional mission for you three. Yes, yes Father. Father. Tartaglia's disappearance was not a part of my plan, but I can use it to make a breakthrough. The initiative belongs to the House of the Hearth. My wish to investigate the Fortress of Meripede will be a front. Linny and his group... You should know the rest. Linny's group is quite close to you. So, they wouldn't have hidden anything from you. Y you attacked the Hydro Archon? It wouldn't mean anything, even if you shouted it from the rooftops. After all, even Farina... Uh... I've now had two chances to enjoy tea with Farina. I have to say, the leadership of Fontaine is even more inscrutable than I had imagined. I once surmised that Eudex Nuvillette must be the Hydro Archon. I am a servant of Her Majesty the Tsaritsa. Over my years of service, I've learned how a real Archon conducts and carries themselves. Of course, that is all just how I feel. Gut, it is, however, quite amusing to me that after all my years working in intelligence gathering, don't you think Fontaine is quite intriguing? A catastrophe looms, yet many secrets have yet to rise to the surface. <sighs> it looks like Fontanians will have no choice but to save themselves. Ultimately, though, one must survive in order to do anything else. You don't need to commit to anything right now, of course. I have a feeling that the situation will continue to evolve. And as your name is often connected with noble deeds, I'm sure we will work together someday. He certainly returned quickly. You must want to catch up with each other, so I'll leave you to him. Hmm. Never that, is it? For now, yes. But this issue will prove quite thorny in the long term. I'm concerned that sooner or later the prophesized events. Thank you for protecting Farina. Hmm. To put it simply, I used my power to force back the Primordial Sea and reseal the Sluice Gate. Hmm. So as expected, the Nave has turned up the pressure on Farina. She's trying to feel her out, though I'm still unsure as to her motives.
Permission granted. Whoa. It can't be that you're the real hu- <laughs> You can't tell us? Then... If by the phrase, you guys, you are referring to Farina and I, then although I'm not sure just what you are trying to imply, I must clarify that I do not share her positions on a multitude of topics. I believe so. The fortress has a long and complex history. And now, another catastrophe will soon be upon us. I mourn this turn. Huh? Why is it raining all of a sudden? You may be closer to the truth than you think. Oh? And what are you thinking? The... Dragon... of... Uh, huh? Please do not be so surprised. <sighs> Farina? Ah, my apologies. Randomly, we didn't guess right, did we? You, <sighs> you guessed correctly. I sincerely hope you'll be able to. Uh, right, of course. There's still something Paimon. Might... Please, go ahead. Well, if you are the Dragon Sovereign of Water, and you are able to. F then, since Fontaine's prophecy is all about seawater, couldn't you just use your. None of the currently living Dragon Sovereigns in the world, myself included. They say that when the first usurper arrived on Tivat, they seized a part of the dragon's power. Today, that stolen power is the basis. There are seven elemental archons and... The dragon sovereign of water who lived through that era perished a long time ago. As their successor, I know far less... In any case, I believe I will not be able to do much unless the archon disappears and given the status quo, however, I would recommend finding another way to deal with... Oh. So even you can't... I still have some urgent matters to attend to at my office. If you have any more questions regarding ancient... Ah, please go right ahead. There's a place that Paimon wants to go to. Traveler, why don't we pay another visit to the Fortress of Meripede? Paimon is a lip. We'll see you another time. Take care. Now guess, what suit will this- Uh... A- Well, well, look who it is. Traveler, Paimon! <sighs> Hello. Looks like you're recovering nicely from it. Mm -hmm. Thanks to everyone's support. Oh, right. I... I managed- Whoa, how did she react? Uh... She told me that it was nothing. It was as if saving a life. She didn't want to stress you out, that's all. Yeah. Okay, but check this out. We went back to the opera house and... You met father? Did she say anything to... She said a few things that were... Uh... A bit hard to understand. Her attitude towards you is even better than what we'd imagined. <laughs> that... You should believe her. She has her own way of doing things, and she'll do everything in her power to help those she considers close. Which... Mm-hmm. Father is very capable, and... Oh, Paimon just remembered that she thought Linny was a bit too proud as well. She said that you should... Uh, got it. Huh. 
That does sound like something. Hey! Are you going to stay here for the next few- Looks like it, yeah! Excellent. I will host a tea party. For real? Then Paimon wants another serving of cake! Another implies that you were already served some delicious cake while you were up there. Well, next time, you're going to have tea and- with the hydro element. When the water level rises, he I ran into the bombshell bros while bandaging the injuries of the wounded. They were mumbling the if you're not too pressed for time, just let me know if you get a craving for any particular dish so I can have Mr. Wolsey get your meals. I'd like to take the opportunity to spend some more time observing your facial muscles as well. are back? Crystal, not you guys didn't get caught and throw- Huh? No, not at all- Ah, and here I thought you'd managed to escape from jail during all the commotion. I'd held you up as legendary jail- uh, <laughs> we're sorry. All right, all right, there's no need to get caught up in the details. We're just relieved to see you. Hey, it wasn't just me. Uh, something like that, yeah. I was also transferred to work in the kitchen a few days ago. I can still hear Quisto mumbling to the carrots. Whenever he'd say that, I'd tell him I'm sure they're fine. Hey, there's nothing wrong with worrying about your prison pals, is there? These two, they sure are a lot warmer and friendlier than when Paimon first met them. Oh, well, if you say so. I'll be watching you to make sure... Miss C Yeah, I was working on uh, that's no excuse for Huh? Yeah, yeah, we're mean, we're back! Hello there. It's been quite the mess here recently. And you, are you still taking the secret passageway from the infirm? Yep. That is still top secret though. It can be a bit annoying when there are lots of people in the infirmary, but I still prefer I mean, the infirmary does make it easier for you to <laughs> Oh yeah? Then why are you all s- You two really are just using your jobs as a cover for your relate- Not, Not at all! all. Do my eyes deceive me, or did I just see two inmates come back after make- We wanted to see how the fortress is doing. Is everything- We're fine, for the most part. Nervalet came down and took care of the worst- If that's the case, why don't you just ask him to stay here? Oh, yeah, what a brilliant plan. Let's go convince the Udex himself to exchange the Quartz of Fontaine for a puddle of water in the middle of no- He came here in a hurry and left without even stopping for a cup of tea. He did remember to take Miss Sijuin- He sure sounds super busy. Miss Cloran has left as well. She also took her gift from- Were the gifts milkshakes? Nervalette got the milkshake. Cloran received lipstick. Uh, those aren't even re Well, it's Nervalette's own fault for making Sijuin worried about his health by working so much. But besides that, oh, and I have some gifts here for you as well. Are these from Sijuin? Nope. 
They're from yours truly. You've already wrapped up your work at the fortress, so you can return to the surface at any time. You haven't yet served your full prison term, however, so... For real? Then we could stay here for a really long time? You may access the cafeteria for free. Hooray! Just remember to come complete your paperwork once it's time for your release. Traveler. <laughs> 